do I wanna know? Guys, we're gonna play Do I Wanna Know. It's a song by the Arctic Monkeys. <laughs> um, the situation here is we're gonna play it. It's in standard tuning. It only has two sections, two and a half sections. It's pretty fun, it's pretty easy. My name's Stuart, welcome to the channel, let's do it. Uh, first thing you're gonna need to do is play the first fret on the top string. That's all there is to it. You do that. How many times do you think I can say they're all there is to it in this video? Well, not that time. What? What is this? All right, play me the first fret on the top string. Immediately, hammer on to the third fret. I play this song almost exclusively with pointer finger and ring finger. That's hard. There we go. There's the ring finger. Just those two fingers, guys. So play the first fret on the top string with the pointer finger. Hammer on with the ring finger. Whoa, Whoa. bent that all out of shape. So what you do is you play that, keep your pointer finger there. Don't move it, but then with your ring fingers, Hit the third fret on the top string with all of your heart and soul. So you go, then immediately after that, you're gonna play the first fret on the second string from the bottom, top from the top, high. Then you go right back to the third fret on the top string. So that's, that was the longest, worst explanation of four notes I've ever heard in my entire life. But wait, we're not done. We have to talk about the rhythm of it. Uh, this is a pickup. A pickup means it's a part of it, it's like, before we actually get to the actual first beat of the song, there's a couple notes that lead into that first beat. So we're going one, two, three. So we come in, they call this on beat four. Usually in our bands you go like, one, two, three, four, chugga, 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 chugga. Well, not this song, this song it goes, one, two, three, one, two, three. Does that make sense? Let's do that together. I'm gonna count to three and then you're gonna play it with me. One, two, Three. Great, great job, so good, okay. Then immediately after that, you're gonna do that hammer on going from one to three on the top string again. Then you're gonna go to the first fret on the second string from the top again. But then, then you're gonna go down to the third string from the top. You're gonna play the first fret and hammer on to the third fret. I have a piece of oatmeal that's been in my throat this entire time. Okay, I had a little bit of a coughing fit. I think I'm doing okay, but I look like I'm crying a little bit. I'll make that the thumbnail, the crying thumbnail. And then everyone's gonna go, oh no, Stuart's so sad, I need to watch the video. All right, so where we just left off was we did a hammer on from one to three on the third string from the top. Exactly the same as our hammer on on the top string, we're just doing it on the third string from the top. And then you go right back to the first fret. Now I have oatmeal in my teeth. This is a disaster. You're gonna play the first fret on the third string from the top. So that was. See what I'm, see what, you see what I'm doing there? We've got. Play just that with me. One, two, go. Okay, fantastic. And then at this point, you're gonna play the third fret on the second string from the top, use your ring finger, play it, and slide up to five. So here's how you do that slide. You put your finger on the third fret, play the note, immediately hold the, like, hold the pressure on the string, but slide up to the fifth fret with the ring finger. I just, that was the worst. I said, here's how you do a slide, you slide. Okay, here's something. Keep your thumb in the same spot and just pivot on your thumb like that. Your thumb keeps pressure, your ring finger keeps pressure, but you're sliding. It's like that motion. Okay, great. So we've got slide up to five, then play three on the second string for the top with your pointer finger. Let's play everything we've just done. One, two, three. Doing? How you doing, guys? You having a good day? One, two, three. Two, three. Whip. Uh, they, this song calls for whips and uhs because it, it, it helps you. Uh, there's a lot of space in this song, right? There's these little rests. Instead of counting them out, I just want you to copy me and go whip. Uh. Let's do it one more time, then we'll finish up this main riff. This main, short, rhythmic, repeated guitar part. One, two, three. Uh, uh. Whip. Uh. 
Okay, we're so far so good. Then you're gonna play one on the second string from the top, and then you're gonna hammer on to three really quickly. And then you're gonna play the third string from the top open, and then go right back to the third fret on the second string from the top. So we've got just like that. Now here's my only, my only tip for you. Here's my very big tip for this. When you play that third string from the top, the D string open, pluck up on that note. It'll make it quicker to get to and quicker to get back to the second string from the top. So it goes. Wait, am I plucking down on it? Oh, what a disaster. I, I, we're good. I just forgot to do the hammer on. So, here, okay, so what, uh, so here's what we do. We do the hammer from one to three, then up on the third string from the top, and then we go on the third fret of the second string from the top. Okay. Then here's my favorite part. You're gonna do a hammer on from one to three on the second string from the top again. But then you're gonna play that three and slide up to five. So it's. And then you just jump back to three and slide up to five again. So now we've got this. And then the very last note of this section, you play the third fret on the top string. So that last little part was. Are you ready to play the entire verse riff? all the way through from start to finish, very slowly. One, two, three. Two, three. Slide, slide, three. Guys, they do that two times for the introduction with no singing, just drums going whoop, whack, whoop, whack, whoop, whack, whoop, whack, whoop, whack, whoop, whack, whoop. Nope, I can't do it. Okay. So you do it twice all the way through. And then the singing starts and we do it four more times. Four more times. However, on the fourth time through, we change the ending a little bit. So the fourth time through starts the same. It goes do da ba boo, exactly the same. Do da ba blam ba, same. The same, the same. But then right here, we hold out this note a little bit longer and we switch to the fifth fret. And then he sings, do I wanna know? And when I say he, I mean the guy from the group, from the rock outfit known as Arctic Monkeys. Do I wanna know? Right when he starts singing, do I wanna know? We go up to the 10th fret. So check this out. We're gonna play the fourth time through the riff. It's one, two, three. Normal. 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 Hold this out, then go to five. One, two, three. Do I? So right at do I, you go to the 10th fret. So we play 10. Now we are at the pre-chorus of the song, which is where he sings, do I want to know? Strange, it seems like the pre-chorus would be when he sings something that isn't the title of the song. Maybe this is the chorus. I don't know. I think of it, it sounds like a pre-chorus. You play that 10. You slide down to six on the second string from the top. Play the six. One, two, three. Then we're going to go like this. On the second string from the top, you're going to play three, five, six, five, three. So that was six, two, three, three, five, six, five, three. Then one, three. So that's Ba, 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 ba. One, three. And then you go like this. Hammer on from one to three on the second string from the top. Quickly play the third string from the top open. I recommend you pluck up on it. And then play three on the top string. Let's play all of that. All of that bridge starting from the ten. One, two, three. Ten, six, two, three. Three, five, six, five, three. One, three, one, three, zero, top string. And then we go like this. So that was just the same old thing we did at the very beginning of the song. You hammer on from one to three on the top string. You play one on the second string from the top, 
and then three on the top string. Okay, let's finish up this part of the song. Go back up to the 10. We're gonna act like we're repeating the exact same thing. You go 10, 6, 2, 3, 5, 6, 5, 3, 1, 3. So all that was exactly the same, a total repeat. But then instead of going, we're just gonna play three on the top string. We're just gonna go three, two, three, four. You hold it out for four beats. Then you play that same three again. One, two, three. Hold that for three beats. And then we start the main, the main riff again. The... And we're at the chorus of the song at this point. He sings, crawling back to you. I think that's what he sings. So the chorus has the same riff as the verse. Exactly the same, note for note, no difference. It's just the melody and stuff is different. Um, how are we feeling about this, you guys? Let's play the pre-chorus all the way through. I think I may have called it the bridge earlier, but it's the pre-chorus. Pre-chorus. We're going to start from the 10. One, two, three. Do I want to know? Three. One, three. One, three, zero, three. One, three, one, three. Back to 10. 10, six, two. Three, three, five, six, five, three, one, three, then three on the top. One, two, three, again, one, two, three. And now we're at the chorus and we play the regular riff all the way through, guys. The only other thing I want to show you, so they, they do the, the, the verse, the intro, then they do the verse, which is the same thing. Then they go to the pre-chorus which we just spent a long time on. Then they go to the chorus, which is exactly the same as the verse. You'll notice every once in a while you do a little vibrato. It, honestly, the vibrato sounds fine in this song. I'm just pushing on the string, but giving it a little wiggle back and forth. I try to make it very subtle. I, I don't even, it's just kind of is fun to do and it looks kind of cool. I don't know. I, it's geek, whatever, who cares? Um, uh, then they, they go back to the verse. So in the second verse, the guitar isn't playing at the beginning. It's just the bass. Then the guitar comes in at some point. Then you do the same pre-chorus again. The do I want to know. Shiba bang dang dong. And then they go back to the chorus. And they do the chorus thing again. There's all kinds of singing going on. But they're just playing that main verse chorus riff over and over and over again. But I do want to show you this one lead part. As the song builds up towards the end, one guitar is going like this. And it's pretty fun to play, so I just thought I would show it to you. On the second to bottom string, you're gonna play 8, 10, 8, 10. Then you're gonna play 11, 13. So that was 8, 10, 8, 10, 11, 13. And then 10, 11, and you start the whole thing again. So it's 8, 10, 8, 10, 11, 13, 10, 11, 8. I can't say the letters or the words. Did you know that letters? No, numbers. Are you kidding me, Pam?